club of his career. He has played ten times for Scotland. Oh, might be a good way for him to start coming on. Could be a first touch in back of the net. Here is Craig Thompson, and there is Kyle immediately attacking the ball. And the Hearts supporters are incensed, as is Kyle. Thought the decision ought to go their way. Well, he nearly got a goal with his first touch, and that's certainly why he's on. It certainly was a corner kick, it was Canning that wins the header. Uh, and that's why Kyle was uh, complaining, so we say. He never got anywhere near the ball, really. But at least he was there to attack it, which is what and why he's been brought into this heart side. Dougie Emery involved in a decision just a few minutes ago. For me, that wasn't one. Certainly wasn't a pill. What can Marco Paixao conjure for Hamilton at the set piece? Well, it was headed on and not so very far away at all. They had Canning up there, the central defender, Martin Canning, coming close. Yeah, it's a decent ball in. Difficult one though for Canning. He's just trying to flick it on more than go for goal himself. Could have just sneaked in at the back post. Hamilton Ackies. Goals though in short supply when they met in the league on Saturday and tonight. But here's John Fleck. He's got away from Evans. Canning makes the challenge and it's a good one. Uh, yeah, very good one. Had to be spot on. If he missed times that at all, it's a penalty. Great spin from John Fleck initially to lose Grant Evans, and Canning does really well to show him the outside and get the tackling. Since that defeat at Aberdeen at the end of November. Thompson. Novo spinning away from Mensing delightfully. Kenny Miller! It's wide, diverted and wide, was it? No, it wasn't. It's a goal kick. Oh, Martin Canning did well to put the squeeze on at the front post. Lovely little step over from Nacho Novo to get away from Menzing. He's never going to catch him. And to be fair to Novo, he couldn't have played in any earlier than he did there. I think Canning's round in the cover anyway. But Menzing getting a little bit too tight for Novo there. Tidy from Thompson. McCulloch now.
And I think that uh, it's more about the way that they've played as well. There's no real urgency in it. They've not managed to keep the ball as well as it should have. It's caused them problems. Oh, no ball. It's Lafferty by his side. Well, it was a very important piece of defending by Martin Canning for Hamilton. And Edu, the miscreant here. But it was on for Novo just for a fleeting moment. And it just shows that even though Rangers haven't started the game well, they're always a threat. Nacho Novo almost feeding Lafferty. Here's Antoine Courier, and Rangers off balance, away in the end by Broadfoot, they were caught napping. Van Zanten to take the throw. Hamilton more than matching Rangers here. Wilson, slipped in the throat of Neil. Marco Paixão. Tackle was put in by Edu, and he knew he needed to get there. Courier as well, fed Mensing a couple of times. And there's Mensing, robbed of it by Stephen Whitaker. Now then, can Rangers build here? Well, it was uncompromising by Canning. We shouldn't really expect anything else from Martin Canning. But it also plays right into the field of play. 11 minutes to go to the break. No scoring, but I dare say Scott, Billy Reid will be happy enough with what he's seen from his players. Yeah, he'll be delighted, I think. He's obviously seen recently that Hamilton can cause lots of problems for Rangers with a 3 3 draw. But he'll be much happier with the consistency they've shown. Now, Davis, that direct ball to Novo. And again, it was Canning who put in the challenge. His timing has been spot on so far. Miguel Antoine Courier. It's only recently that he extended his loan deal until the end of the season. Antoine Courier on loan from Dundee. Just seven and eight previous games. Over goes Stephen Whitaker. Hamilton a bit exposed at the back. Whitaker on that Maisie run. Combination of Cherney and Canning doing the trick for Aki's. Can they give it one last push forward? Time is against them. We are almost at the three minute mark in stoppage time. Now Canning missing out the midfield. Thompson. Novo for Ranger. Gavin, have you ever been involved in a game with so many incidents? It was a great game to be involved in. I think we're just gutted that we haven't uh, managed to hang on to the win. It's another late goal that's cost us two points. It was the same with Rangers. We could have taken a point. They scored late on. It's a shame. You know, we've probably taken a point before the game, but you know, we've battled and scrapped, and I thought we could have hung on to concede. Then it's a bit of a, you know, we probably, like I say, we'd be happy with a point, but it's a bit of a kick in the teeth. Three red cards in the game, but it didn't seem to be a dusty game. No, it was competitive, but. You've got to be careful what you say. You've got to be careful what you say. I thought they were 
tackles I thought the first the Celtic man was it was a harsh one and he's maybe I don't know about Jim like that's it again. Martin, from uh, your own point of view, uh, it was really backs to the wall towards the end. Did you get the feeling that you were going to hold out? I think it was backs to the wall, but I think it's just been happening so often this season. We, we really need to shut the back door, and I can't believe we've lost another late goal that cost ourselves three points again. I think when you're down there, things just don't seem to go for you, and at the minute, what's happening to us, it's not going for us at all. There was a wee suggestion that the Hamilton goal was offside, but is that the kind of breaks that you need sometimes? I think so. I think we need to get a couple of breaks, obviously, at the other end where we're not getting the breaks. So, I don't know. It's just really disappointing today. Yeah. Just a, It feels like we're throwing three points away. I think, like Gavin said, before the game, we would have took a point. But disappointing not to get all three. But, of course, it shows a tremendous fighting spirit in the side. I think that's one thing you'll always get. Sometimes I think we'll, we'll always fight, we'll always, we'll always do our job. I think everyone at the club wants to beat the club, wants to do the good job for the club. And, like I say, I'm just gutted that we never got three points in it. Well, hopefully you can do the honours for us. Uh, Clydesdale Bank Premier League Man of the Match, Gavin Skelton. Will you hand him over this bottle of champagne? Well done, Gavin. Cheers, Gavin. Well done. Thank you, big man. Cheers, Cheers thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Neil, can you sum up your...